This is a Merit's power chair. It's called a Merit Vector power chair. This power chair has less than two miles on it. It's brand new condition. It was delivered, never used. This power chair has electric tilt, electric recline, and electric legs. Many other features, which we'll cover in a minute. But all the features have to be worked through the joystick. So you have a button here for the seat. Once you turn it on, you go back to the bottom which says mode. And if you hit that button, you can see the light is on the back. Now it's on the legs. And now it's on the tilt. Okay? And if I hit it again, that will be just the tilt with the two lights. So the first thing I want to do is pull the joystick back. And we're going to make the seat tilt. So this is your electric tilt with the Merit Vector power chair that has only two miles or less than two miles. It is in new condition. This is a fantastic power chair. That's your electric tilt right there. And that's a full electric tilt, by the way. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do the legs here once it gets all the way back to the tilting position. Oh, that goes almost flat. All right, so that's the tilting position. And these are the legs. Extra large foot plate, which is very nice. You have a large foot plate, about 14 inches wide. That's your legs going up. And these are adjustable too. We can adjust the, uh, the length of the legs, and uh, we can adjust the, uh, the legs. So depending if you're five foot two or six foot two, we can adjust these legs. So if you needed circulation, you could do it this way, or you could, uh, you could do halfway down like this. I'm going to bring the tilt back down so it doesn't look so drastic. So if you needed some circulation, you could get your legs up. And then you could be sitting like this and have still some circulation. Bring the tilt back down. And I'll bring the legs back up some more. So the legs would have to be already all the way out before you do your tilt and it doesn't go all the way. So I'm assuming when the seat is all the way down, uh, like this, if I put the seat all the way down, then tilt the legs up and then do your tilting, then you'd have the legs straight out in front of you. So if I bring the tilt all the way down like this, there we go, and now I switch over to the legs, now we've got the legs going up. All the way. That's that. And then you can go back to the tilt and your legs will be straight out. So you can go as far back as you want. So that's the electric tilt. That's the electric legs. And the next one we're going to do is the electric recline, which is just the back going back by itself. While, we, while the back is going back, this is a swing away, this is a swing away joystick, so the joystick can swing away to the side. It can go on the left side if you're left-handed with no problem at all. So if you want to know what it looks like when you're all the way down flat reclined, that's what it would look like. That's your, that's your recline position for this chair. That's as far down as it'll go. So that's your recline, that's your legs, and that's that. So if I wanted to do two options at once, I want to bring the legs in and the back up together. I could do it two at one time with this chair. So I'm bringing the legs back up and the seat back up. And I would always leave. I'm going to bring the seat a little bit harder. Always leave the legs out like this when you're outside. It gives you more ground clearance. Okay, so now we've got on this chair here, I'm going to put it back into the driving mode. We've got 14 inch solid wheels, caster wheels in the front, caster wheels in the back. You've got heavy duty suspension in the front that you can adjust by turning this ring. And you've got the same suspension back here. You can't see it, but the, the, the spring is right here. You have the same shock here. You've got two more in the back. You have four of those heavy duty suspension all the way around so it gives you a good, a good ride when you're driving. You've also got with this chair in the front, if I turn it, you can see right here, that's your anchor point. There's two in the front like this, two of those heavy duty, they're welded to the frame, 
and you've got two more back here, right on the frame. And you can see the spring is right here, coming from the back wheels right there. You can see the shock back there. You've also got on this chair arm support. So if you're one of those persons who pushes hard on the arm, with these arm support right here, which I can remove, these give you a little bit addition, uh, some more support for your arm. Then you relock it and it can't come out. The seat on this chair is 21 inches wide by 19 deep. You've got a safety belt. The depth of this, we cannot, we cannot change the width of the seat. We can change the back though. So if the back is too close, this is 19 inches from here to here, this back can go back two, three inches. There's two, three inches left. We can move the whole back backward. So you get it technically have 21 by 21 or 21 by 22 deep. This chair has a 300, 300 pound weight capability. You've got lateral guards on each side, which is very nice. Keep your legs in. Lateral guards. You've got a, a headrest that's fully adjustable and can be removed. You've got push bars here. So if you needed to put this chair in neutral, what you would have to do up front, right under your chair, where my hand is, you can't see in the video, there's two yellow levers. If you turn the power off and push those levers up, the chair is in neutral. You have two levers, but you have a motor for each wheel. Push it back down, turn the power back on, and you can see you're in here. And now you're back in gear. Okay? This is a mid-wheel drive chair, so this chair will turn on its own length. So if you if I put a box in front of that foot plate and a box where my foot is, I could turn all day long like this in a circle. All day long. Okay? So when you charge this chair, like all chairs, most of the new power chairs today, when you charge them. You plug your charger right below the joystick and this in the wall. And as soon as the light turns green, you're fully charged. Your charger will stop charging automatically when the batteries are full, so you don't have to worry about overcharging your chair. This chair, I think, has a five mile an hour speed limit. If it goes faster than that outside, I'll let you know when I drive it outside. But this is a Merits Vector uh, six wheel power chair, electric tilt. Electric recline, electric lag, swing away joystick, lateral guards here, large 21 inch seat by 19, which can be pushed back to 21, 22 if we have to, adjustable headrest, safety belt, foot plate does flip up. So if you want to push the foot plate more in, you could go, you could go more in like this if you want to bring it under the chair. So when you get out, you have less obstruction, okay? But as I said, if you're outside, make sure your foot plate is, make sure your foot plate is out at least, at least that much when you drive. These are a little more clearance under your foot plate is because it's an electric foot plate, you would want to jam it and hurt your electronics in there, okay? So, also this chair has less than two miles, so it's in brand new condition. Electric tilt, electric recline, electric legs, ready to go. All right, this is the Merits Vector power chair by Merits. Electric tilt, electric recline, electric legs. Went through the grass with the suspension in the front, suspension in the back. It went through the grass fairly decently. It had no problem at all. Plenty of power going through the grass also. Very smooth. It probably goes about five, five and a half miles an hour. I thought it was gonna go five. I think it goes a little bit faster than five, maybe five and a half. I don't think it's six miles an hour. But it's definitely a fast chair still. Very comfortable and it's ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. 
and my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.